Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Nate is going to go through a warm up routine, so you can go ahead, Nate. It's not the best of, of preparation in terms of with cleats and all these things. So, it's a more format of ball control, you know, in order to be able to be better in juggling and keeping the ball and timing. Good going there. Good. Come on, man. Go try, go try. If you notice, it's a basketball we're using this morning because you can get a better rebound or a reflex from the, the basketball. But I have a, a, a specific ball for this type of exercise. You know, but so far, Nate is doing a great job. You know, to improve on his timing in terms of his stride because he's a very quick player so it's going to help him in, in a lot of ways good going, good going so you youngsters especially at home you can put these things in practice on a regular basis to help build up your timing, your composure and build up your ability to juggle as well right not bad, not bad, not bad. The people see their Nate is getting his hang on. These exercises you don't have to have on a cleats in order to get it right. Any form of sneakers, because unfortunately they leave his sneakers this morning, but we are improvising with the we're going in. So I make some adjustment to the slippers and but the key thing in this as I'm explaining to you is the timing, the concentration and the patience. Because in all sports you have to know how to interrogate and utilize that aspect of time, patience, technique and all these things. In all sports, as aggressive as it may seem at times, but those things are very much important as well. So you kids can recognize these things and understand. Good boy Nate and focus in this area. Time to come Nate can take a cup of water and drink while he's doing that. Wonderful, wonderful. Good going, good going. Trust me, Wilma is a very talented player. And you reckon there's a bit of difficulty in this aspect of the exercise that we're doing, but he's getting it. Right? And the key thing in this, as I'm telling, telling you, is to observe the timing and the principle of getting it done. So we'll more innovate a bit because we normally do these things barefooted, you know. So he's doing a wonderful job so far by just taking off his shoes. But it doesn't matter what you wear. I'm telling you, once you have the timing and the balance and consistency in it, you'll be able to prevail in it. Okay? And you can look at the clock tv kids them and see how much they enjoy doing it after they learn about it Cato, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece. 